is about motivation. And there is this big misconception about motivation. I was living like years without knowing that and I'm sure I heard that many times but it just never really kicked in and that is that it's not motivation first action second. No, this year in particular I spent months, like literally months, the first half of the year trying to get motivated where like the solution was right in front of me. The second I started doing things, I started feeling like doing things again. You're not gonna get motivated from laying in bed watching Netflix and binge eating. <laughs> almost felt motivated <laughs> still not it this whole motivation thing and this magical aspect of getting motivated is not about the motivation itself it's about tricking yourself into doing something and then once you start doing something you can do more and more so how do you actually tick off that first thing from your to-do list when you really don't want to do it. I'm assuming you already have a to-do list. Make sure all of the items on the list are actionable and not a general projects, like take over the world for example. Make it as small as you only can. Like the smallest actionable item you can take out of a project, that should be on your to-do list. Momentum creates more momentum. So once you start sticking off those items, you will want to do more and more. And the smaller you make the tasks, the more momentum it will build to take them off. Sometimes when I'm really not feeling like doing anything, I will put the simplest things possible on my to-do list. I'm talking like brush my teeth, eat breakfast, make dinner. It's not gonna happen on its own. You just have to force yourself to do that first step the next thing and this is more related to like the bigger projects you're trying to tackle every small step of this project that is taking you to the bigger goal that you're trying to accomplish you should treat it like a goal in itself getting that big goal will take some time and if you don't reward yourself every step of the way you will get demotivated that's that's for sure so now we have to keep ourselves inspired in some way or maybe the bigger goal would be to like hit 10k subscribers or 100k subscribers but if you treat every single video or like every single step like filming editing uploading as a goal in itself taking this item off will be a win for you and you have to build that winning situation you have to feel feel like you're winning. And life is a story, so make it a good one. Bye guys. You okay? And life is a story, so make it a good one. Bye guys. Bye guys. Oh, I'm finished. Oh, God. Next step is something that is very, like, generic, I think. But using simple trackers will help you a lot. That's more like habit relation for me that what <laughs> habit formation related print out a calendar i can i have something like that wait i'm gonna shoot it in b-roll because you can't really see it printing out a calendar or you can find one on my website because i recently got a website i don't know if you knew that and i have printables there there are printable downloads you can well download and print so my camera died this is going great ever heard of don't break the chain that's a great thing actually because by seeing this visual chain and like crossing things off every single day you don't want to break that chain it is painful to break that chain the trick here is just not to track too many things at once i would say track one or two things because once you have too many papers it becomes undoable the more friction there is the less chances there are that you're actually gonna do something so where i'm getting with it is just a track in your habit it makes them extremely successful once you have a visual representation of how your habit is going you just don't want to break the chain it's painful don't do it. The last thing I like to talk about today, uh, it's kind of cheesy, I don't think it's for everyone, but I am a visual person. I like Pinterest very much. 
Have you noticed that already? That I was really trying to build a habit of working on my business and then also working on my, on my YouTube channel. So I created separate boards for every one of these activities that basically represents the lifestyle I want to be living in the future or I can live already. I think it's such a powerful tool. Just looking at it when you don't really feel that motivation causes miracles. So if you are a visual person yourself, I highly recommend creating your own vision, not vision, like a mood board for that goal or that habit. You can either use Pinterest for this or I personally use Notion. I have also seen some people use like an Instagram account to hold their inspirations. I mean, like whatever works for you, whatever seems the most appealing, do it. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you like this type of content, I will be posting similar videos throughout the whole month of October. That is YouTuber now. Yeah, you heard that right. It's Kaylin Nicholson's idea and so far I'm really enjoying it. I love you more than I love coffee and life is a story. So make it a good one. Bye guys.